Hello, Chargers. Welcome back to your Charger podcast with Ava Wood, Alexa Deutsch, Maddie Hines, and Marissa Blakemore. Today, we're going to be talking about different places you can go to lunch and our personal rankings on them. So first up is definitely a Chatfield's favorite. It's Chick-fil-A. It's about like a five-minute drive, and, you know, it's not super expensive. Normally, it's around $10 for like a meal, so you'll get fries, whatever, like entree you get in a drink. Oh, and my rating is a nine. My ranking on Chick-fil-A would also be a nine. My ranking is a classic. It's it's classic. I love it. Um, nine. <laughs> um, I took kind of a different direction. I don't really like Chick-fil-A as much. I think it's just because um, we do get it so much, but I give Chick-fil-A a seven. Okay, our next one up is Chipotle. It's about a two-minute drive, I'd say, from here. About a ten-minute walk, so if you're a freshman, that's a really good place to just walk and go. Um, they also, if you don't want to eat too much, they also have good um, kids' meals, which are, like, really cheap. They're about $5, but I'd say the normal meal is about 12 yeah, or nice. twelve to 15 uh, yeah. Um, My personal ranking on Chipotle would be a nine. Mine's also definitely a nine, and I do get the kids' meal, and it fills me up, so... Uh, my rating on Chipotle is a 10 out of 10. I don't think it can get any better. It's it's just perfect. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love Chipotle. Any of my friends could tell you how much I love Chipotle. She also loves Chipotle sour cream. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm crazy for Chipotle. And I asked for Chipotle gift cards with my entire Christmas present, basically. So I love Chipotle and I give it a 10. Yeah, Marissa's kind of a nut for Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up we have Freddy's. Um... It's kind of far, but it's still around, like, that six-minute drive. And I personally, a little hack is I get the kids' meal because the kids' burger is basically the exact same size as the regular one for, like, $8 or $7. So that's what I get. My ranking on it is a 7. Um, my ranking, I gave it a 6 just because the ice cream is really good. So if you're craving ice cream, go to Freddy's. I'd say a six and a half just because it's like it's really good, but it's just kind of expensive, so you kind of have to be in the mood to spend money. I'm going to give it a seven, too. I think it's good, but it's just not great. All right, next up, we've got McDonald's. Um, this one's kind of a controversial one. We've got a lot of um, people that think it's really good and a lot of people <laughs> that aren't entirely sure. So my, ra- my ranking for McDonald's is right in the middle. I'm going to give it a six. My ranking is an 8. I actually really like McDonald's, and it's really good. Um, I give it a 2. I just don't like it <laughs> at all, but I do like how it's really cheap. <laughs> I gave it a 5. I also think it's really close, too, so if you just don't have a ton of time for lunch or, like, you're running late, that's a good spot to go. Okay, next up is noodles, and... Mm, Noodles is good. It's probably the same, like, five, six-minute drive. Um, It is pretty expensive, though, and it can take a while. So if you're going to go to Noodles, you need to get there really fast, else you will be waiting the whole lunch to get your food. So I give it a seven just because there's a lot of options. Um, I gave it a six for my ranking. Um, I really like Noodles. I gave it a nine. I just, I'm a big fan of pasta. Um, I really like noodles. I like their food. I just really hate that they don't give us water cups anymore. So seven. <laughs> um, next up, we have Qdoba. It is right next to noodles. Um, it's probably it's in that like same drive zone. It's all like in that little plaza right there. I personally am not the biggest fan of Qdoba. Never would I choose Qdoba over Chipotle. That is my Ballin, personal opinion. <laughs> um, Except for their queso. Yeah, their queso is better at Qdoba. But I personally would give it a four. I'd also give it a four. I give it a six. And I give it a seven. I really like Qdoba. (laughs) Um, Next up is Einstein's. It is a great place to go if you're a freshman and need to walk there, but it is kind of pricey. It's around like $12 or a little higher, I'm pretty sure. For a bagel? (laughs) Well, for like a a meal there. I mean, what price do you get for like just a bagel and like cream cheese like like super cheap super cheap four dollars yeah four to six oh well i'm (laughs) getting the wrong thing then that's not me but mine was like around like twelve dollars there but it's really really walking distance and really good in my opinion i give it an eight um i also give it an eight and i love how there's so much variety and it's just a good treat sometimes
I would give it a six. I don't, I'm not, I don't know. It's something about it is off-putting sometimes and I don't know how to explain it. I really adore Einstein's. <laughs> I gave it an eight as well. I feel like the Asiago bagel really can't be beat. All right, next up we got Starbucks, another place that's like an awesome place to walk, especially for freshmen. Um, super close next to Einstein's and yeah, Starbucks is always good. I gave Starbucks a 7 because I really like their baking goodies. I gave it a 5 just for lunch. There's not a ton of options. I gave it a 7. I just think the drinks and stuff are really good. They also have a really good grilled cheese. Not expected. And the baking gouda just actually cannot be beat. So, um, I said 4 just because it's not a really good place to go for lunch. And I feel like it's pretty pricey for the amount of food you're getting. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so next up is a jersey mike's which is also next to a different starbucks it's like five ish minutes away um and it's not it's like decently cheap it's probably ten dollars for like a sub and it's pretty fast so they have chips and um cookies too which i like so i give it a nine and it's my favorite sandwich place by far Okay, I originally had nine, but I'm going with a ten. I love Jersey Mike's. It does take a little bit long sometimes, like if you get there kind of late. But Jersey Mike's, like, it's so good. That is my favorite sandwich shop by far. So, highly recommend. I am head over heels obsessed with Jersey Mike's. I think I would choose it over everything. <laughs> yeah, everything, even Chipotle. Um, so I give Jersey Mike's a ten out of ten. I think it's so good. But yeah, best sandwich place by far. Okay, I hate that Chipotle comment, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> um, I love Jersey Mike's, except um, I don't like the price. I don't know, like, how much you spend, but, like, I always typically spend, like, $14 at Jersey Mike's. And so I really like the food. I just hate the price. So, eight. <laughs> okay, next up we have Stoners. This has been, like, a new kind of place for all of us. We actually all, at least the first time I had it, this Gunkle brought us in the pizza rolls. And, oh, my God, the pizza rolls are so good. <laughs> like, especially if you're a freshman, it's perfect walking distance it's right beside einstein's and i think miss gungle was talking about how you can order ahead um i also recently had their pizza and i think it's really good so if you even go with a couple friends and split a pizza it's just kind of fun and a good idea to grab something for lunch and i don't think it's pretty it's a little bit more on the expensive side but if you split it between some friends i think it's pretty reasonably priced i give it a seven same as Ava. I also gave it a 7. I really like it. I just feel like it's too new for me to have a opinion on it. Yeah, I also gave it a 7. I just don't know how fast they would be if you were going there for lunch. Okay, so next up is Atlas Coffee. Um, I don't really feel like it's much of a lunch place, but it's it has a good chai tea latte. Um, my ranking for it is a 5. Yeah, it's good walking distance if you need, but... They do have some lunch things. It's just really expensive if you do go there for lunch. They have, like, sandwiches and chips. Um, so I'd give it a five. I absolutely love Alice's chai. If you're a chai person, go try it, especially the oat milk one. But I do agree. It's not really a lunch place. They do have a good breakfast burrito, but, again, kind of expensive price. So I give it a six. Um, I give it a zero just because <laughs> I never would, like, ever go there for, like, lunch per se but i'd probably rank it up to a two <laughs> that was a little brutal of me <laughs> yeah if you were a freshman that would be a decent option okay next is subway um it's kind of far and out of the way it's next next to tamale kitchen but it's still really good and i was like raised on subway um but i like jersey mike's and jimmy john's better so i'd give it like a two out of my sandwich rankings yeah, I don't, it's definitely my least favorite sandwich place, um, but it's still a sandwich place, so I give it a four. Yeah, I gave it a three because it is my least favorite sandwich place. I give it a four, it's just, it's just okay, and it's not worth the drive. Mm -hmm. um, next up, we have Tamale Kitchen. That has become one of our new favorites. They have a really good breakfast burrito. It's, again, right by Subway. It's kind of far, but... I mean, realistically, they get the food out so quickly. Like, we always have leftover time to just sit and talk more there. And the pricing is so good. It's, I mean, you're spending $14 at Chipotle for a burrito. You're spending $4 there, 4 to $5. So, but yeah, their breakfast burritos are unmatched. Oh, I give it a 7. I give it a 6. It is a really, like, different place to eat, and I like it a lot. Um, I originally had it as an 8, but I'm going to bump it up to a 9 just because it's 
really good. <laughs> I love Tamale Kitchen. I'd give it a nine too, and I also spend like five to six dollars there every time. Um, so next up is Panera, which Panera is kind of far. It's in Southwest Plaza, which is like probably a little over like ten minutes away, maybe ten minutes. Um, and they have just so many options. Like you can get whatever you want there, but oh, they're you pick two is really good. I recommend that, but it is it is pretty expensive. So bring your wallet. Um, but yeah, I give it an eight. I love Panera. Like this is pr- this is one of my top options on here. It is pricey. I do agree with that. But their Asian sesame chicken salad is unmatched, and I'm always full. And I feel like it's a good healthier choice if you're kind of want to be a little bit healthier. So I give it a nine. Yeah, I really, really love Panera. I hate the cost, but I give it a nine, too, just because I love their food so much. Yeah, I really like Panera. The other day, though, I spent $17 there for a meal, and I was like, whoa, (laughs) absolutely not. So I give it, like, a seven. What's up, guys? It's Piper. And June. And Alex. And we're going to be taking over this podcast. First... I have some really strong opinions about Taco Bell, and I really wanted them to be voiced. Have you ever heard of the $5 Chalupa combo meal? Because holy cow, you can get like four tacos, a burrito, cinnamon twist, and a drink for $5. I give it a 10. I would rate Taco Bell a 10 out of 10. I would personally rate Taco Bell a 7 out of 10. It's not that good. Okay, um, so I'm still going to be here to talk about um, Canes because I'm just passionate about Canes. It's definitely one of my top three. Um, I'm probably going to give Canes a easily a 10 out of 10. I would also give Canes a 10 out of 10. I would give Canes probably like an 8 out of 10. It makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> I give t- Canes a 5. I like everything but their chicken. That was such an interesting oh, take, Piper. Their, their fries are kind of mid, actually. No, that's not true. Yeah, it's a People true. have to stop dogging on canes or I'm going to... Okay. So, I'm here to talk about Garlic Knot because it will forever be and has always been my favorite place, number one. I'd give it like an 11 out of 10. The dude who works at the front is there every single day and he's so nice. You can just start a little conversation with him. But um, I'd recommend... It's right by like Schaefer. It's like, I don't know four minutes away and i'd recommend just getting the lunch special you get a huge slice of pizza five knots and a drink for like 10 bucks so yeah definitely 11 out of 10 all right guys it's alex and oh garlic knot oh really? garlic knot i rate garlic knot like a six out of ten honestly their pizza is a little degreasy i agree with the greasiness but i'm mostly mad about the ice cream machine that has been broken since fifth grade oh yeah it they fixed it. It's $5 though for an ice cream cone. Are you serious? They, they must have it. fixed it. But I would personally rate Garlic Knot a 4.5 out of 10. Because have you ever had their spaghetti? Because it is so bad. Their spaghetti is so bad. It's- but the the reason you're ranking it bad is because you're getting spaghetti at yeah. Garlic Knot. Okay, well, the, I just have before. But like the, garlic, the pizza is also like kind of like, I don't know, it's expensive. I still think the spaghetti is pretty good. Hey, I have a joke for you guys. <laughs> what do you call a wrapper that? Uh, what does a wrapper put on a spaghetti? Marinara era era. I thought it was a DJ. Marinara. <laughs> Hello. So today we're going to be talking about. Well, right now, actually, not today. We're going to be talking about Nectar Juice Bar. Um, I would personally like to say how. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty expensive. Um, it is my current occupation. So if you'd like to pull up and possibly tip a lot of money, that would be so fantastic because it is so good and scrumptious. And yeah, I, I like the I like the bowls. Get some bowls. Yeah. Okay. You rate it. Oh yeah, I rate I low key like a seven out of ten. <laughs> I like the pink. P- Pia Tati Kaya bowl. And I rate it a, I don't know, but I rate it a 7.8. I love when they put the chia seeds on top of the smoothies. That's <laughs> disgusting. They get to your And teeth. I think it's a 9 out of 10. Okay, bet. Talk some Sonic to us.
Now we're going to be talking about Panda Express. Personally, I love Panda Express. It is a 10 out of 10. I think that the lo mein and the orange chicken is an absolute must. And, you know, ever so often, I like to get the beef and broccoli. But I think Panda Express is just absolutely so delicious and always fills my cravings. So 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 5 out of 10. Their crab cheese wontons are awful. Well, why would you get the crab cheese wontons? Why would you go to Panda Express? Why wouldn't you get the egg rolls? The egg rolls that are made with refrigerator vegetables? Those vegetables taste so good. <laughs> no, they do not. Now we're talking about Taco Celine, easily the best taco place ever. Taco Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, I really like their asada tacos and their hortadas, and they're really cheap, and the guac salsa is bussin'. So um, 12 out of 10. Their sauce is delicious. I would rate it a 10 out of 10. I love that there's onions on the tacos 10 out of 10. Gross. So next we're going to be talking about Jimmy John's. I would personally say that this is easily one of the worst sandwich places to go to. I would say Subway's worst though, just by the way. But yeah, sometimes I get some free Jimmy John's sandwiches because, yep, you know, I work at Nectar. Anyways, I'd rate it a 4 out of 10. Easily a 2. I think it's really gross. I've only been there once and it was bad. So like zero. Now we're going to be talking about Sonic. Honestly, Sonic is just a hangout place. Um, Their food is like mid at best. Unless you're like getting like the tater tots, then those are really crispy and really nice. But I think their drinks are too sugary. And but otherwise, it's just a hangout spot. So like six out of ten. Good place for Dr. Pepper. Um, Nine out of ten. Piper likes, this is Piper's Sonic order. She always gets a hot dog with no onions. That is her Sonic order, and I personally think that is absolutely disgusting. And tater tots. And tater tots. And by, a doctor. <laughs> and a doctor. Uh-huh, but I think it's horrible. Um, though that specifically, I would rate them a uh, 8 out of 10, because you could have some pretty awesome hangout time there. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, now that we've gone through a couple of the individual places, we're going to be saying our overall favorites. So my personal overall fra- favorites are absolutely Chipotle, Cane's, and Jersey Mike's. Uh, those are the only restaurants I'd give a 10 out of 10, and I would always say yes to and always go to. I think Taco Celine, Tamale Kitchen, and Okinawa, I don't know if that was mentioned, but Okinawa best places to go they all have good deals for lunchtime and they're just also delicious mm. uh definitely chipotle tamale kitchen and taco saline for sure oh maybe canes yeah um i think that chipotle panda express and jersey mike's are top 10 out of 10 you will never taste better food i'm actually gonna throw tamale kitchen into mine as well just because those burritos, man. Those burritos, man. <laughs> they cannot be beat. Hi, my name is Marissa. I'm back. And my favorite is definitely Chipotle, but then it's Tamale Kitchen and Canes. Um, I'm Alexa, and I'm also back, and my favorite is definitely Garlic Knot. Also, Chipotle and Jersey Mike's are amazing, too. Word. This has been your Chatfield podcast with Maddie, Marissa, and Alexa. And Ava, June, Alex, and Piper, the guest stars. (laughs) All right. um, Hope everyone has a wonderful day and goodbye.